let's talk about uh, the, the interaction of uh, magnetic field with uh, with one electron atoms or or the like of one electron atoms i mean the atoms that have uh, that have one electron in their valence shell and uh, we have basically a range of categories uh, uh, for, for the interaction of uh, uh, external magnetic field uh, uh, with, with the atom, uh, with one electron atom. And, and, and in, uh, within the atom, we have, uh, as we know, that th there is an interaction. Uh, there, there is a spontaneous interaction between uh, the, the spin uh, uh, and, and, and the orbital motion of electron that leads to, to, the, to, to, to the magnetic field, or what's called as spin orbit interaction. Now, uh, uh, in case of, uh, so, so how can we categorize, uh, the best thing would be to categorize uh, uh, the situation here that, that, that what we are doing is we are uh, applying an external magnetic field uh, to, to an atom. Uh, so there is interaction of uh, external magnetic field, so if I call this B external, and we have internal magnetic field. I'll call that B internal, and this internal magnetic field is uh, is because of uh, the spin orbit interaction that's always there. So now, what uh, what categories we have here is that that if we have this external magnetic field, uh, if its magnitude is very very less than that of the internal magnetic field, so this is what's called as weak field interaction. Weak field interaction. Then uh, uh, there is a, a, another category, and that's uh, uh, that's the, if this external magnetic field that that we are applying, if its magnitude is of the order of the the internal magnetic field, and this internal magnetic field is uh, is a result of spin orbit interaction, uh, then then we call this as uh, uh, inter intermediate uh, uh, field interaction. And uh, and we have third category here. Uh, uh, now, if the magnitude of the, the external magnetic field that we are applying on this atom, uh, if if this if, if its magnitude is very very uh, greater than that of uh, uh, the the internal magnetic field, then this is what's called as uh, strong field interaction. Strong field interaction, uh, and this interaction automatically leads to to caution. Uh, back effect. So here uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the weak field interaction. So to start with, so 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 what is important here is that that since the, since the magnitude of uh, uh, external magnetic field is uh, uh, is uh, is less in comparison to, to the in, uh, internal magnetic field, uh, internal uh, spin orbit interaction, the magnetic field due, due to the spin orbit interaction. So this B internal can be uh, treated as unperturbed uh, term, uh, uh, and the external uh, uh, magnetic field uh, uh, can be treated as 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 perturbation uh, to to the given problem. So. Uh, So, uh, so, 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 what is important in in case of this weak field interaction is that uh, uh, that 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 this fine structure that we have discussed, this fine structure, which involves basically the spin orbit interaction as a correction to the uh, to the original Hamiltonian, uh, this fine structure dominates. It dominates, uh, uh, and uh, and we have good quantum numbers here, and uh, we have good quantum numbers. Uh, as principal quantum number, orbital quantum number, uh, and uh, and spin quantum number, uh, then then total quantum number and total magnetic quantum number. Now these are, are, are the are the are the good good quantum numbers. Now, uh, when we apply the first order perturbation theory to to, to the to the given problem, uh, what we have is uh, uh, we have uh, we have to define H Z. Uh, dash as as perturbation and this perturbation is is the result of uh, the the magnetic the orbital magnetic moment and and the spin magnetic moment dot uh, the external magnetic field you can write down it this way and and we we have already evaluated this uh, magnitude of this uh, uh, or magnetic orbital magnetic moment is uh, 
right? It's, it's minus E by 2ML if I write down it vectorially. And if I write down its magnitude, then its magnitude is simply uh, E by ML. Okay, uh, similarly we have the, the magnet, spin magnetic moment of the electron and, and that is, uh, uh, if, I, if I write down it vectorially, it's minus two times E by 2M S vector. And if I write down its magnitude only, it's gonna be mu S is uh, two times E by 2M S. So I can think of using the magnitude of uh, uh, orbital magnetic moment and spin magnetic moment uh, in this equation. So if I do that, what am I going to get is uh, this, uh, this Hamiltonian is, is going to be uh, minus times, uh, I should write E by 2M outside. So inside I'll be left with L plus 2S, L plus 2S and uh, uh, dot external magnetic field. So, so this is my Hamiltonian for this, this weak interaction. And what is important here is that, 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 that external magnetic field is, is weak and, uh, and, and overall contribution uh, is, is due to the spin orbit interaction. So fine structure is dominating here. Uh, and, and obviously this, this external magnetic field can, since it's, uh, it's, it's weak, it, it, it's, it's, it's slow, so, so it can be treated as a constant in this problem. So, so if I have to calculate this, uh, the, 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 the energy the correction, what will be that? That will be the, uh, the N, L, uh, uh, then we'll have J and M, J. And then we'll have this, uh, this Hamiltonian, uh, uh, H, Z, dash, M, L, M, N, L, J, M. So we can use uh, uh, the, the value of H uh, dash uh, and what we'll be left with is uh, uh, we will have uh, E divided by 2M uh, be external uh, then what we will have is uh, 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 normalizing NLJMJ and, and, and H Z dash uh, we will have its expectation as L plus 2s. All right, so uh, we can we can move on from here as the correction is a dash and L plus 2s. Uh, L plus 2s uh, can be written as L plus s plus s. So this L plus s will give us G plus s. So I can think of writing E Z dash as E by 2M B external and the expectation of uh, uh, G plus S. Now what's the, what's the situation here is uh, what we have is uh, uh, we have, uh, we have G and we have L and we have S. So this is L, this is S, and and this G is constant, right? So so we have the situation uh, in which L and S uh, uh, they, they they are a representative of uh, the the orbital angular momentum, spin angular momentum, and uh, and total uh, angular momentum, and this J is, is constant and, and this L and S uh, they, they precess they, they precess along the, the third component of this J. So uh, so what we are trying to do here is that, that what we are left with is E uh, E Z dash is E by 2M B external then J plus S. Okay, so what we are trying to do here is, is that we are trying to write down the, the average value of this S. And this average value of S can be uh, written S dot J, uh, J by the magnitude of J scan. And we can see that this is dimensionally, it's, uh, it's the same thing. You can have the cancellation of, of J's and finally you're left with with S, uh, and this equation gives us uh, the, the average value of S that precesses along the z-direction of G.
and and we have uh, we have G is L plus S and we can write down that uh, this L can be written as as J minus S and if I uh, if I write down the, the the square of this this will give me uh, L square L dot L is J minus S dot J minus S so what we'll get from here is we'll get L square is is J square uh, uh, plus s square minus twice s dot j so from this equation we can calculate the s dot j that's over here and and once we we calculate s dot j uh, we would like to impose that in this equation and and use this whole equation uh, in the expectation value of j plus s so that should be the motivation and and moving on from here uh, what we'll have is this s dot j uh, this s dot j will be simply it's going to be j square plus s square minus l square by by two so uh, so moving from here what we can write down here is uh, we can write down uh, these the scars uh, of J's, S's, and L's, uh, I mean, uh, in terms of their quantum numbers. So they happen to be the eigenvalues. So what would we uh, expect from here is we'll have, uh, uh, we will have, uh, uh, for J squared, we'll have J times J plus 1. Then plus for S square we'll have S times S plus one. With, with every term we have H cross square minus L times L plus one. So this J is the is, is the total uh, quantum number. Uh, S is the spin quantum number and L is the the orbital quantum number. So in every case what we have is we have uh, H cross uh, as a multiplier and and divide by two. So uh, uh, so so what is important here is that. Uh, uh, we would like to use this s dot j uh, in in this term and finally use this s uh, in the original equation so what the original equation will look like is uh, we will have uh, we will have e z dash as e by 2m b external then the expectation so here i have j i'll write j as it's then for s uh, I have all this. This is j plus s dot j times j vector by j square. All right. So close it like this. Now I can use uh, s dot j in this equation, and I can use for j square here. Uh, j square is j times j plus one h cross square. So I'll get. Uh, the, the correction in energy will come as e by 2m b external so the expectation i write j here plus for s dot j what i have is j times j plus one plus s times s plus one minus l times l plus one so it has h cross as as a multiplier and and divide by uh, j square uh, j square is j times j plus one h cross square h cross square so this whole thing is is multiplied by by j vector and and then we have the closure of this expectation it's like this okay so we can see we can have the cancellation of h cross square and h cross square from here and i think i have missed two here so it's two now we can see this j vector and j vector. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can take all the eigenvalues out uh, and put the expectation value of uh, of j outside because j is common for both these terms. So what we will have here is we will have e by 2m b external uh, times uh, yeah one plus because j is common. So we'll have one here uh, j times j plus one plus s times s plus 1 minus l times l plus 1 okay this belongs to the upper term uh, divide by 2 j times j plus 1 and then I'll close it then I'll have the expectation of j vector 
and I think this whole term is already calculated. This is what is called as Landy G splitting factor. So we can write down E Z dash as E Z dash will be A E by 2 M B uh, external and uh, and G uh, then the expectation of J and this J is simply M J H cross all right and this G is land G splitting factor we have already evaluated it and it is 1 plus J times J plus 1 plus S times S plus 1 minus L times L plus 1 divide by twice J times J plus 1 so what we see here is uh, uh, is that this E Z dash, we can treat it as, uh, as, as delta E Z dash. So what we have here is the splitting. So what, it, what splitting we have E H cross by 2 M B external G and M J. And this term is called Bohr magnetron. We can boil down this to delta E Z is, is mu B B external G and MJ. So what we observe from this equation is there is splitting and and the splitting is dependent on the total magnetic quantum number and it's also dependent on the the land AG splitting factor. So this is uh, the, the result uh, that we are interested. This is the result that we have obtained uh, by treating the external magnetic field that's applied to these uh, one electron atoms or uh, 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 this is treated as perturbation uh, to, to, to the fine structure term. Uh, and, and, and the core of the fine structure is basically the, the spin uh, orbit interaction. And, and treating down uh, the, the two, uh, the two form formulations, what we, what we come across is uh, there is shift in energy levels. And this shift in energy levels is, is dependent on, on land energy splitting factor. And it is dependent on the total magnetic quantum number.